So what is an entrapment neuropathy? Uh, so this refers to a mono neuropathy, meaning a, a single nerve. And in an entrapment, the nerve is damaged by compression that occurs at a narrow or restricted natural anatomic passage. So these are different sites that people have found over time where a nerve is, is prone to being injured. Carpal tunnel is probably the, the most well-known one, and it's also the most common. Um, some studies report about a 10% lifetime risk, and in patients with diabetes, some would argue that that number drastically goes up. Now, there are multiple different sites of entrapment, and a lot of this is based on anatomy. The most common, as we said, is carpal tunnel, which is at the level of the wrist. Uh, the next most common is at the uh, cubital tunnel, which affects the ulnar nerve, shown in this diagram. But I've listed here multiple, multiple other types of entrapment neuropathies. Um, you can imagine that basically at any point across a nerve, it can become pinched or entrapped, and there are some characteristic ones that I've listed here. So we could have uh, median nerve being trapped a little bit more proximal in the forearm. The ulnar nerve alternatively can be entrapped more distally at the wrist. This is called Guillain's canal. Um, if you think about the lower extremities, there can be tibial nerve entrapment. This is called tarsal tunnel syndrome. Bouncing now to the, the scapula with the suprascapular nerve. Thoracic outlet refers to entrapment basically of the brachial plexus um, in this um, anterior triangle. Uh, I'm sorry, um, triangle of the neck bounded by the clavicle, the trapezius, and sternocleidomastoid muscles, the sciatic nerve, piriformis syndrome, and uh, the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, or neuralgia parasitica. This is a, a short list, but just to give you an idea that there are multiple different sites of entrapment that are out there. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.